What's going on, everybody? It's my Paul. Thank you all so much for watching out of the video. And what we're about today? Well, I want to tell you, it's not just Call of Duty. Now, by that, what I mean is, there's a lot of fans at the minute, the Call of Duty franchise, who are feeling down on Infinite Warfare. There's a fucking shockeroo. But it's not just Call of Duty fans that are feeling somewhat let down by their franchise at this point. Now, it's very easy to get caught up in the whole hype and hysteria surrounding other first-person shooters like Battlefield 1, like Overwatch, like Titanfall 2. And I'm not gonna lie, it's not all as, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows is what it's portrayed over there. And look, so it's kind of like, it's not just Call of Duty, it needs to pull its fucking socks up because Blizzard, DICE, and respawn have all got work to do because and thing is it's easy to look at infinite warfare as a red-headed stepchild and look you don't like it i get it i'm not massively keen on it either but nonetheless you're not the only fans who are feeling somewhat let down so let's kind of look at the other games let's look at their shortcomings all right so you say i don't like infinite warfare but nonetheless you've still got black ops 3 if you like that kind of thing you've still got ghost you've still got modern warfare remastered so there's three other games there with call of duty on the box that you can go ahead and play now let's look at battlefield 1 shortcomings and i've touched on this before it's the lack of content that's in the game. It, it's fucking laughable, man. It genuinely is. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Battlefield 1's bullshitting, dude. I really am. I've actually, you know, I'm more of a Battlefield player. I am, and that's the God's honest truth, dude. Nowadays, I'm more of a Battlefield player, and yet I've gone back to playing Call of Duty because there's just not enough content for me. I'm not saying I'm going back to playing Infinite Warfare. I've been, I'm playing the good ones. And I've gone back to playing them games because battlefield at the minute does not have enough things to keep me interested therefore i'm just kind of wandering away now admittedly i've kind of more gone back to playing battlefield 4 than what i have anything else but still that's not playing the newest shooter that has just come out so therefore it's not really good enough now is it now yes there is dlc coming but it's not coming until fucking march which is a joke it is you know, so therefore people are turning off Battlefield. Yes, their online numbers are still good, but it's not, it's like I said, it's not as rosy in the garden as what is currently being portrayed. And then we look at Overwatch, man. I love Overwatch to death. I do. I think it's the best thing since Tommy Rubs, and it's one of the best first person shooters ever made, but it still gets boring. It does get boring. Season 3, dude, Season 3 competitive has been a fucking joke, all right? You have no idea how much I've sat there raging, getting tits off by shitty teammates, letting me down. It's just absolute mess. You can't play with your friends unless you're in the same rank as them. And quick play is just full of bumble cunts, which, to be honest, you're just fucking steamroll all the time. It's like... There is no competition there. And then when you go to ranked, it's kind of too much on the other foot. It's not necessarily the enemies that you've got to worry about. It's the dickheads on your team who can't do a goddamn thing. And it's kind of like, how the fuck did I get paired with these numbless retards? It is that bad, honestly. It's terrible. And also the meta, how it's been all tank heavy. There's been no variation with it. It's kind of been the whole same team setup and stuff like that. No, it's not been all that enjoyable. And then we look at Titanfall 2, and this is meant to be my golden goose. Titanfall's meant to be the big one. Titanfall 2, I'm fucking bored of it. I am. You know, I play so much Titanfall 1, Titanfall 2 came out, and admittedly, it's not as good as the first one. And then you look at what's going on with EA and Respawn right now, and you're kind of looking towards the future of Titanfall 2, and it's kind of like, are we going to have a future with this game? Because one thing about Call of Duty, whether you like it or not, if you've got a shit one, you've got, a, you've got another one coming along next November that you can go ahead and play. We don't know if we're going to have that with Titanfall 2. As far as we're aware now, because the sales have been so goddamn bad... For Titanfall 2, yeah, admittedly, they picked up after Christmas, but they fucking should have done. The, the, game, the game may die. They may actually not make another. Now, a few months ago, EA for, for Titanfall 2 came out, and they were being all optimistic, Bertie Big Bollocks for Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2, that they were going to be, like, this is going to be a franchise, and this is going to stick around for a really long time. As soon as they saw them sales figures, dude, they were like, nope, nope. Nope, we ain't doing this again. This is a big old waste of money. We ain't making enough profit. Now I'm saying there may even not ever be another Titanfall in the series. How fucking wank is that? You know what I mean? It, it, it's just silly. Yes, Titanfall admittedly respawned are doing the right thing by adding free maps, but the latest DLC patch hasn't been anything to do with Titans in a game called Titanfall. Does that honestly make a great deal of sense to you as well? Because it don't fucking to me. You know what I mean? And so therefore, it's like if you're a Call of Duty fan. 
yeah, look, I feel your pain. I do, because I'm a Call of Duty fan as well. Infinite Warfare, again, Infinity War, dude, my favorite fucking studio as well, just went and dropped the biggest, steamiest turd on all of our chests. And there's not a goddamn thing we can do about it. Except for hope for Sledgehammer Games to come back and, I don't know, make Call of Duty good again. And whether that happens or not, fuck if I know, but we ain't going to find out for a few more months. So, hopefully that's going to make you feel a bit better about the current situation in Call of Duty. And all being well, Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, and Overwatch are going to sort their shit out pretty soon. Cue the outro.